What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, well, technically I'm back, yeah. <laughs> so welcome back to Diamond On Demand. Um, yeah, I've currently been gone. Looks like I'm back from mm, my depression. Yeah. No, I'm just kidding, but uh, still, no, I'm back and I'm currently at the local flea market. <laughs> just, you know, buying some stuff for Christmas because it's getting time of Christmas. It's currently October 28th. And I've been watching Stranger Things. <laughs> No, but still, like, you know, the thing is, like, Christmas, because I'm Mexican, I'm Hispanic, it's just a big deal for me, so, I bought this out, this back stand, it, and I mean, it's cool, because, like, I am percussionist myself, me as a uh, frontman ensemble and everything, I just love that stuff, and drum and everything, just drum. And it's perfectly functional so yep looks like I'm good for that I haven't been on for a while because basically um I want I need a break I, I stopped um I didn't have any good video softwares or anything for my video games anymore so I stopped uploading I mentioned in a previous video that I uploaded probably like two months ago mentioning that I was not gonna be uploading YouTube for a while maybe till next year I said, I did mention I was going to bring at least one vlog, so, yeah, you know, there it is. And yeah, I'm, I'm back. Now we head home. Man, she just got fatter. Ay, calmate, calmate. Mm. Oh, I'm not kidding. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, I'm in my garage. I just got back. Um, I have a train track set here that I've had for years. And so I'm gonna design, refine it. I'm just gonna put it up here, try to find a pattern and design so I can do it inside and put it inside my living room now there's not that much space there is because most of it is gonna be the tree with the with the houses and the little village decorations so I gotta figure out a pattern and some sort of thing to do so yeah let's get started on touch <laughs> my final result um, yeah uh, the reason I'm actually doing this is because basically since I was four since I could like basically talk this moment I can talk I've always loved trains and I'll do anything to like train related so whenever whenever it's Christmas I want trains Always wanted to train around the tree. I always wanted to train around the tree. And from all my Christmas years, we rarely had a train. And in 2010, I, um, well, I got a train set. Not this track though, but I, I got a train set. And it was basically, it was from my favorite movie. And uh, animated movie, child's movie, probably can, with all these, it, it's about trains, yeah. It's an animated movie, by trains. I think you can narrow it down. Either way, so um, yeah, I love trains. And in 2010, I got a train set on the movie train. Now, with that train, I want to use this track that's from 1994, 90, 2000, maybe. It's about probably 15, 17 years old track. Now the thing is that this trick track is so lightweight and stiff, especially out here right now. I shouldn't. I wanted to go outside so I can measure it, but I mean it's it's cold and kind of windy and all that, so it might be a little bit humid. I'm not sure. I can't tell what my way, what the way it is right now. Now I also wanted to make this train a little bit even on both sides. Now for some reason I, I'm getting brain fart and my head hurts just from trying to think of this. I'm trying to see why everything's even. I don't see what freaking reason it doesn't end up the same. 
and when I turn it, like for example, I, I made it even, so it's, it's, it's one, two, three curves like this, and then it turns into like this, so I counted one, two, three, four, and then right here, straight track. Um, well, no sé, de verdad. I don't have words. I'm gonna message my dad everything about this. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. And now, I mean, like I said, four like this as well, and four like that on each side. And then it's one straight track, and then it curves that way. Same thing over here. One straight track, then it curves that way, same even amount. But the thing is, that the same even amount would end up here, like right there. And the same even amount on this side would make it here. Yep. Would be here. So when I did a straight track, it didn't end up aligned with this. Now, if I tried to put both together, it would be too stiff that the train would start levitating up like there's a track. And since it's really lightweight, that's my problem. And if I put a train, even though the train has weight, it just doesn't look good. And plus, with my train, I've tried many times using this track because this is not the same track from the train I have. So, yeah. It's kind of confusing. But the point is that I have the Polar Express train set. There you go. I told you. Yeah. Train set. And well, the track from that one is limited. Plus, it doesn't connect with this one. Yeah, so my problem is that I was going to use... Well, my thing was that I was going to use that Polar Express train set on this track from two different train sets of the same, same time. They're both 1900 something, like 1900s. <laughs> no, they, they were the same, you know, train, just different sets. And just now I have double track, and yeah, I'm just gonna use it because it's G-scale. Now, like I said, my only problem is why doesn't it want to really? I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know why it doesn't want to work. What am I doing? It's great party. But anyway, I'm gonna probably bring the train. I'm gonna look at it first a little bit more. And then I'm gonna bring the train set and I'm gonna put it on and see how it works. We're set. The Polar Express is ready to go. Now, I discussed this right now with my parents and they're like, yeah, perfect. Cause like, it's cause the thing is like, I'm Mexican, like I said earlier on the previous clip when I was at the Vulga. Like I said, I'm Mexican. Christmas is a lot in train sets. It's all mine. Christmas decoration is just up to me and my dad. I mean, we love holiday, so. For example, Halloween right now, we just have that. We didn't make such a big deal about Halloween, but once it's Christmas, honestly, this entire place will look really different from what it is right now. Now, this year we made a lot of changes. We got rid of our fence. We're gonna get a driveway to go around like that, and you know. We're gonna do a lot of different changes, so in the next years, so we're gonna have different decorations and everything. Now. That's not going to happen, maybe, it could happen this year, I doubt it, but it's going to happen probably next year. But for Christmas, for sure, we're going to have a different setup inside the house, we're going to have a different couch, new couch, and new sofa. And that's not sofa, actually, it's just a couch, so, yeah, it's going to be looking a lot different. And this is the only reason I want to do this, I can try to measure it and see how it goes. It, it worked perfect, you know what? Thing is, like I said, I'm not sure why the same track is different. I, I measured each size of the track to make sure it was the same. It, it was the same. I just don't, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Till next year, I guess I'll find out geometry. <laughs> geometry. So for you who know, you guys are nerds out there, tell me why in the description, please. So yeah, I ended up adding this and it wasn't that bad because like, come on, not everything is even. So yeah, we're gonna have a tree probably here. Huge village around because We've bought over the summer in the past two years tons of cool, nice houses, huge houses, and yeah, it's gonna be good. Now this is test number one. Let's see if the train works. Let's go. And the thing is, I'm about to take it fast, so I'm going. Okay, that curve is not gonna help me a lot. It's not gonna help. This track. Cause if not, I still like it for decoration. Even though the train doesn't run. Yeah, the train's already derailing itself. But it's working. Actually, I don't think it's derailing. 
Uh, just a little bit, but it's not really that big of a deal. See that? It's not really straight, but I mean, it's not big of a deal. Uh, I slowed it down at the right point. I guess I can't slow it down that much. Because it's not helping. Okay, I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it. I'm stopping it. Reverse. I'm gonna have to take it on reverse. Okay, that does not look healthy. It's already derailed, basically. I'm surprised you see it. Let's keep going. There you go. Reverse my foot. Okay. So, yeah. Um, well, I'm keeping it. First, I'm going to get rid of these tracks. I'm just going to put them somewhere else. I'm throwing a few away because uh, throughout this, there was accidents. You see? Hmm. They broke. So, yeah, that was not a good part. But, I mean, I'm glad. I'm satisfied with this. Uh, yeah, if there was those train competitions, I'd definitely, I'd definitely sign up for these. I have the patience and the creativity for this. No, that was pretty good. That's a good run. I'm just, it's the only thing that's been a major problem is this locomotive. I mean, that's the only thing that wants to do that. I might look slow. Let's see why I want to do it. So. Right here, it doesn't spin anymore. The turn completely messes it up so the entire thing now it's that turn that wants to mess it up really bad I guess it's just a really short track like it's just one little curve that messes it up it's I guess a train track I mean this train is Lionel now it was the first one of the first G-scale trains they made and yeah basically I mean Maybe it's not used to this sort of thing, like just one track like that and then like this curved up. I mean, that's kind of a bummer. But I know it can work. Also, this track is like I said, stiff and weird. It's not as thick as the other one. The other one's thick. The newer one is nice and thick. It's pretty good. It's, it's nice and big. And it's, yeah, it's basically better than this, the other one. This one's really stiff, thin. And yeah, I mean. I, I like this, you know what? I'm, I'm good with this. <laughs> I'm excited. So, yeah, so I'm just gonna wrap this up and I guess I can call an end for this video. I and mean, that's just a little, a little update on where I am right now. So, basically, basically, yeah. I mean, I haven't been uploading a lot anymore. No more gaming for a while. And yeah, the holidays. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next update.